This mushroom here, you often find in big clusters growing up around the stumps of tree, just like you can see here. I don't know if you can zoom in and, uh, and look at these things, but uh, this is what I would call Caprinus. Uh, it's, uh, this is a group of fungi that's since been renamed into uh, three different genera. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, I, can't, I can't remember which is the correct genus, but it's uh, Caprinus macaceae. And if I try and find one here, we might be able to see why it's called Macaceae. Um, no, that one. So these, got, these ones are a bit old, but if you find a fresh, um, some fresh specimens, actually, you can just see it on the cap here. Uh, I don't know if that shows up. Can you focus on the top of the cap here? And there's some tiny white little dots, and so uh, they look a bit like mica in rocks, and that's where the name comes from. Uh, what you can see is that these are uh, dark spored mushrooms, so they uh, make black spores under the gills there. And if we look at the ones here, you can see these. They're all kind of slimy and look like they're kind of falling to pieces. And this is actually the gills uh, self-dissolve. And so uh, it's called deliquescence. And so the gills will completely dissolve and then the spores will just be in this... Uh, and the kind of black mass that runs off. And this is where this group of mushrooms gets their common name, which is ink cap, because they produce this inky black substance from the caps and the gills uh, dissolving with age.